Hey, this is Timo from OnlineBuilderGuy.com and today we are going to be looking at UCraft pricing and seven things that you should be aware of UCraft pricing when you are choosing UCraft as your online site builder. Now, the thing number one is that when you go to UCraft's pricing page, you are going to see these different plans to choose from. And what they are doing by default, and this is not just UCraft, it's basically every other online site builder, <coughs> is that they are displaying prices as annual prices. So when you, for instance, when you're looking at the website package and you see that, hey, this is only $6 per month, uh, you may be thinking that, well, that's that's very inexpensive. But at the same time, and I think that it's good that UCraft is actually doing this. Uh, they are saying that when paid annually, and it means that you have to put or you have to pay more money up front in order to get the benefits of uh, an annual pricing. And the benefit, of course, is that uh, it is uh, on the long term, uh, it is you know, more inexpensive than if you would choose the monthly billing cycle. So in this case, if I pick the monthly uh, billing cycle, uh, the price is $8 per month. And of course, <coughs> you are paying more by choosing monthly billing. Uh, I'm personally using monthly billing because I think that for me, Pay, paying a lot of money up front may not always be possible. So in that case, even if I'm, <laughs> I guess you could say losing money because I'm uh, uh, choosing the more expensive route, uh, I still like to use the monthly billing because at least for me it is, it, it is much more flexible than the annual pricing. But, but definitely, if you have a chance to uh, use the annual pricing, then of course, then go ahead because you are saving money. Um, so that's really the thing number one that I wanted to talk about, the annual pricing versus the monthly pricing and, and understanding that the prices that you are seeing by default are annual prices. Uh, <clears throat> so... What else there is to it when it comes to annual pricing? Well, uh, what is always very annoying, annoying at least for me, is the fact that uh, not that often you are able to see the whole price, how much money you are expected to pay uh, upfront if you are choosing the annual price or, or the annual pricing model. In this case, uh, the only way, because you can't see the total price for one year, even if you scroll down the pricing page, the, uh, the only way to see the whole price for one year, if you choose the annual pricing, is to by going to the checkout page uh, of any particular uh, plan. Uh, for instance, in this case, if I choose the website package, I click the Get Started button. And then I'll just have to do some random uh, random uh, settings first. Uh, go through a wizard before I can actually access the checkout page. And in this very page, you will see then that it's, it's actually $72 uh, per year. And obviously this is the price at the time I'm recording this video. It could be something, you know, different when you are watching this video, but uh, at this very moment, it's $72. So that's the only way to see how much you are expected to pay upfront if you choose the annual pricing. Uh, <clears throat> another thing which is very uh, important to understand is that they have a 14-day money-back guarantee. So 
money back within 14 days if you are not satisfied with our services. So that's, uh, of course, a good thing to know. Okay, that's good. Um, so what else there is to it? Let me just step back a little bit. Uh, okay. Um, so what else there is to it when it comes to pricing? Well, uh, something that I wanted to talk about is uh, their different plans. Now, as you can see, that there is this one free plan, but it's only the landing page package which is a free one. But you really can't find any free website packages. So just keep that in mind. Uh, a landing page package is basically uh, a package where, or a plan where you can build a one-page website. And it's, it's great in a way because you can then get used to UCraft's design tools and all the different options that they provide. But at the same time, uh, yeah, it's the only way to create a free site with UCraft. But there really aren't any free website packages on UCraft, so that's something to to uh, keep in mind. Uh, <clears throat> so what else there is to UCraft's pricing? Well, one thing that I wanted to also point out is that uh, there is actually a 14-day trial meaning that when you register with UCraft for the first time, you start a 14-day trial, free trial. And your credit card isn't being charged during that time. So only after 14 days, your credit card is being charged. So it's good to, good to know that there is a 14-day trial. Uh, it gives you some, some time to test their services and, and uh, it helps you to form your opinion, what you think about UCraft and whether it's something that you want to use in the future as well. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's see. I have my notes here, so I, I'll just have to take a quick look at them every once in a while to, to, to make sure that I go through each of these things that I wanted to talk on this video. Uh, what else there is? Uh, so I talked about the trials, I talked about the money pack guarantee. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, so I basically have two things to go through right now. Um, and <clears throat> you can basically see this thing what I'm going to be talking about. So on this page that, that I'm displaying right now. So if you take a look at this landing page package, you will see that there is UCraft watermark. Now this free plan, it means that you have to include their watermark on your page. Uh, it's, it's okay if you are not doing anything, I guess you could say serious with your landing page or with your one page website. But if you are building a real website, if you are building an online business, you want to make sure that all the extra watermarks and such things are not displayed on your site. Of, of course, unless if it's your own brand's uh, watermark, that's, <laughs> that's a totally, totally different story. If it's your own company's watermark, then that's fine. But other than that, you want to make sure that you are not displaying anything extra on your site and you want to make sure that you are branding your site according to your specifications, your layout specifications and such things. So you have to include a watermark if you're choosing the landing page plan. If you upgrade to a premium level plan, uh, for instance to website plan, then you do not have to display any watermarks. So that's something worth remembering. <clears throat> Okay, one final thing, and this is very common with every site builder that I have tested so far. So, when you are building a website, uh, 
and you see that, the, like for instance, in, in this case, if you're choosing an annual, annually priced website, it costs six pun, Sorry, it costs six bucks per month. But that's only for one website. So what that means is that uh, if you want to build another website, you have to purchase another package. So for instance, if you're building a website, you have to pick another website package. And it means that you have to pay yet another $6 per month if you're choosing the annual pricing. So something that I wanted to point out that you have to pay, uh, I mean, every time you are building a new website, you have to purchase a new plan. And this is of course different when comparing to some other platforms like WordPress where you can, and especially if, if we talk about self-hosted WordPress, uh, uh, where you can build multiple websites on one plan and you only have to pay once <laughs> for that uh, uh, for that hosting. So it's, it's definitely different with these online site builders. But just wanted to make sure that you understand that <clears throat> every time you are building or want to build a new website, you have to pick a new plan. You have to choose a new plan for your site. For instance, you have a uh, site1.com and you have site2.com and you have site3.com. So for each one of those websites, you have to purchase a new plan from UCraft. And this is pretty much a standard with every site builder there is. Okay, I think that I covered all these seven different points if, if I didn't lose my count. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to talk about this time. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will get back to you soon. Bye-bye.